The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Hosea. But look, I am going to seduce her and lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. There I shall give her back her vineyards and make the veil of Achor a gateway of hope. There she will respond as when she was young, as on the day when she came up from Egypt. When that day comes, declares Yahweh, you will call me my husband. No more will you call me my Baal. I shall betroth you to myself forever. I shall betroth you in uprightness and justice and faithful love and tenderness. Yes, I shall betroth you to myself in loyalty and in the knowledge of Yahweh. And our response from Psalm 145. Day after day I shall bless you. I shall praise your name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh and worthy of all praise, his greatness beyond all reckoning. Each age will praise your deeds to the next, proclaiming your mighty works. Your renown is the splendor of your glory. I will ponder the story of your wonders. They will speak of your awesome power, and I shall recount your greatness. They will bring out the memory of your great generosity and joyfully acclaim your saving justice. Yahweh is tenderness and pity, slow to anger and full of faithful love. Yahweh is generous to all. His tenderness embraces all his creatures. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. While Jesus was speaking to them, suddenly one of the officials came up who bowed low in front of him and said, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and her life will be saved. Jesus rose and with his disciples followed him. Then suddenly from behind him came a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for 12 years, and she touched the fringe of his cloak. For she was thinking, if only I can touch his cloak, I will be saved. Jesus turned around and saw her. And he said to her, courage, my daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that moment, the woman was saved. When Jesus reached the official's house and saw the flute players with the crowd making a commotion, he said, get out of here. The little girl is not dead. She is asleep. And they ridiculed him. But when the people had been turned out, he went inside and he took her by the hand and she stood up. And the news of this spread all round the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord.